Hey guys, what's up? It is your friend Keith, and I am back here at Essex Recording Studios, live in the control room, sharing with you an epic custom shop Jackson guitar. This is one of a kind, it's one of one, there ain't no mo out there, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit like, smash subscribe, I'm going to show you the coolest of the cool, the rarest of the rare, up close as if you were holding them in your very own hands. We give you the background stories, we talk about all the cool intricate details, and uh, we look to the comment section for comments from you guys to learn from even bigger experts who have way more knowledge than me. I don't know everything, guys, but I am here to share what I do know and to share wicked cool guitars. So, let's get on with it. What do we have here? This is a guitar, it's one of five USA Jacksons we got from a guitarist and collector up in Scotland. His guitars are so, so clean. And this one he ordered himself in 1991, uh, completely specced out by him. And it was influenced by what he saw in the 1990 to 1991 Jackson catalog, which had this very similar graphic on a soloist. And, um, you can see, if you look at the Jackson 1990 catalog, you'll see it in the custom shop area. You'll see the soloist as dot inlays. It's got a slanted single coil pickup and a humbucker. Um, and this graphic, well, he had this made in a 92 in the Jackson catalog. We see that soloist back with the guitarist and uh, I guess front man. Was he the front man? of a band called Mind Funk. And this graphic was actually ended up being used on their album cover. And the band was actually called uh, Mind F Word. I'm not afraid of profanity, but I'm trying to keep the, the uh, YouTube gods happy uh, on the channel. I swear like a sailor. But yeah, so Mind F Word uh, was the original name of the band and the label made them change it. So I'm guessing, because this artwork came out before that, that seems kind of a suitable name for what I see going on here, because it kind of looks like, kind of looks like space, uh, you know, you got a lot of imagery here, you've got a lot of things that could be perceived to be parts of female anatomy, parts of uh, things that might shoot out of a dude, and it's all pink colored and brainy kind of stuff. So it's pretty artsy, but yeah, there you go. That's what I'm going to call it as far as the graphic. It looks awesome. It looks kind of spacey and alien. Um, initially, that's what I kind of thought that, of it until I looked at the background of kind of what this artwork came from and was used for. Now, something else super, super cool that they did with this is on the bevels, they did this really cool kind of hash uh x's and crosses all up and down the bevels this is not done on any other jackson it is on the border artwork of the uh, album cover from that band uh, i did notice that so you can see kind of what uh, the background is on this overall graphic and motif and how it ended up being used on an album cover and integrated for that so so cool now, other things to note, guys, look at these Jackson pickups. This is the crispest, most intact Jackson logos I've ever seen on uh, these old school pickups. The best of the best. Look at the logo, or the serial number, RR2672. Guys, they only made 18 Custom Shops Rhodes guitars in 91. That's it. 18 custom shops. This is one of them. And it's completely one of a kind, specced out to order. It's got the earlier 80s style, what I would call the true style, Jackson Made in USA headstock logo. So not the mother of pearl. You've got the beautiful shark fin inlays that really pop. As you can see, mother of pearl. And again, so many unique features. This is the German Schaller Jackson Floyd Rose. Beautiful. You've got the, these are highly desirable, high, highly sought after 
on the secondhand market just on their own if you can grab one. This is, you know, an original set with the most crisp, intact font I've ever seen. This baby was loved. So, unique pickup combination for a Rhodes, a single coil, and a humbucker. You're going to get very different tones that you wouldn't get uh, from a traditional Rhodes, which will ha have either one humbucker or two humbuckers. So, that's very, very cool. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, original case. This is the metal plaque case. I'm going to do a video, guys, actually going through the whole history of Jackson cases from the very beginning, because now we've got an early 84 Jackson Kelly with an original case. This is the next style that came out. We've got the chainsaws. We've got the Ontario molded case. We've got the Fender modern style SKB molded case. So we're going to do a whole video on all the different cases and how you can kind of date them and tell what they are. Uh, tip looking good, guys. Looking very good. Let's go ahead, take this tremolo bar out. We'll flip around. Condition is outstanding. I mean, there's a few age-related things, like there's a, a lacquer hairline right there. You know, not much you can do about that. Um, I mean, the, the brushed metal control cover, this is actually the control cover here, is in amazing condition. A few little kind of little white marks there. I don't know if that will come off. Actually, it feels like it's on the surface, so I think so. But, um... Let me just flip this over, show you the back, some, some more cool features. So the tips all look great. Little, maybe little, ah, will this focus? Little, ah, it's not wanting to focus. Anyway, tips look great and looks like there's maybe little minor, uh, touch up at the corner as to be expected very very minor very normal especially for a guitar that is 30 years old now this i've never seen before on a randy Rhodes. so obviously you have the nice flush recessed tremolo cover and they're all brushed metal not cheap plastic but this is an active electronics cover which nowadays you'll see on um esps they'll have like a quick access but this you, you never saw this back then they just chuck the uh you know like on a roads in general you, you just chuck a, a battery underneath the top cover where the volume knob and tone knob is so that's quite rare here you see again we talk about the tuners how you can date them so on the 84 that we had there's no uh no logo, no nothing. Larger, uh, larger tuner, just tuner bodies, I guess you would call it. Um, here, I think after that, you'd have the Jackson trademark. This is the Jackson re reserved with the R. A holder spot for your Allen keys to do your adjustments on your Floyd. But yeah, really super, super clean guitar. Probably has a couple of my fingerprints on it. You can see, you definitely call it a case queen. It's had, you know, minor, minor blemishes uh, on the tip here. You can see very, very minor little touch up right there. But guys, this guitar looks incredible. Absolutely awesome. It is extremely expensive today to get a custom shop, truly one-off guitar built for you. It is extraordinarily expensive. Um, it seems more often than not these days, they are not taking special commissions to do something like this. They, uh, uh, the wait times can be extraordinary. Two years seems to be the norm. That's what I'm seeing on the forums and on Facebook posts, uh, you can wait all that time and get it and there's damage or there's something wrong. I've seen that before, you know, so it's, it's pretty wild to get something with all of this history packed into it. 30 years, totally, completely original. Uh, we're seeing for investments, at least, you know, when you're thinking of it in that aspect, what happens to guitars when they're hitting 30, 
40, 50, their, their major uh, in, uh, decade milestones, values are going through the roof. There's, there's a lot of things in life that just consistently go up. And electric guitars, from their very inception, prices have always risen. Prices and values. Uh, fine wrist watches, like Rolexes, same thing. They say Rolexes go up about an average of 5% a year. So, you know, if you want to diversify your portfolio and have some functional artwork, a functional investment that you can play, enjoy, and show off, this is it. Uh, you get bragging rights, too, that it's the only one in the world with this graphic. And it's one. It's the only one with this graphic. It's a modified version of another very, very similar graphic on a soloist, which was the only one to have that. And then you have, you know, this pickup control layout that's unique. Um, the 80s, the earlier logo with this pickup configuration, with this graphic just super cool and the fact that they only made 18 custom shop roads for the year and this is one so it's one of 18 and of those 18 it's one of one very very cool guys all right i'm kicking a dead horse at this point it's special it's rare it's epic if you want to see more detailed pictures of it up close go to our website essexrecordingstudios.com and go to reverb.com i'm going to have it up there today you're going to see the other guitars from this collection slowly trickle on, and I will do a video with all of them all together. And in that, you'll see we've got, uh, I think we've got an 86 Soloist with the color Trem. We've got a Sunset Graphic Soloist. We've got uh, just so much cool stuff. Crackle and the early 84 Kelly. All right, guys, I got to run. Follow us on the socials at SX Recording Studios. I'll see you all soon.